boom <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you made it um if you're new to filmmaking if you're new to video editing this is definitely a place you want to be subscribing to i created this channel just to help people unleash their creativity and just create dope video content and today i just wanted to share with you a technique i just love doing in my videos it's like this handwritten effect and it's so easy to do you probably be thinking oh what did i think of that anyway my name is arthur so hey Let's get into it. Now this is one of my favorite effects to do because it's just so easy and it's all limited to your imagination. Now the one thing you will have to be doing is recording your screen for this, okay? So once you're recording your screen, jump into Photoshop. All right, in Photoshop, we wanna create a new document, but we wanna set up a background color from white to this nice green over here. We're gonna press create. Now the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer over here, bottom right. This is going to be the layer we're going to be drawing on, but we want to make sure that we've got a brush tool selected. Make sure you're on white. And what we're going to do is we're just going to expand the screen um, on your keyboard. If you press the tab button, it'll get rid of all the, all the panels on the left. So you have a nice clear view. I've just zoomed all the way in now. Now I'm going to start my drawing. So for me, it's just going to be my signature. Boom and give it a little X, a little hug, yeah. Now this is where having a drawing tablet comes in handy. It just speeds things up. So if you haven't seen my video on how you can use a drawing tablet to do your video editing, do check that out. I'll put a link below in the description. But for now, you wanna stop your screen recording and you wanna import that file into Premiere Pro. So now I've imported the screen recording into a project I wanna work on in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna double click it over here and it's gonna open up here in my source monitor. From here, I just wanna select where it actually starts. So I'm gonna set an endpoint there, press I on my keyboard or use these keys here and I'm gonna find out where it stops. There, I'm gonna set a, an out point right there. I'm gonna drag that section in on top of my video. All I can see here is green, that's fine. So what I wanna do now is just go over here in my effects control make sure this layer is selected and i want to just decrease the scale on that a little bit great move it to the left where i want it awesome click this pen tool and i'm going to draw a mask around it okay just so it gets rid of everything else but the writing the next thing i want to do i want to go over here in effects i'm going to write ultra key there you go you press ultra and you're gonna bring up this ultra keying effect. I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna drop it onto that layer. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click this eyedropper tool over here and I'm gonna click on the green. Now that's taken out all the green for me. Now I'm just left with this. Awesome, all right but that's going a bit too slow for me. So I'm gonna press Control R on my keyboard and that's gonna bring up my speed. I wanna reduce the speed here to about maybe three seconds. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna press OK. Let me play that back, play that back again. Boom, and that's pretty much it. Now I can change the color of this to any color I want. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go back into my effects panel, I'm gonna right tint. Okay, I'm gonna bring up my color correction. I'm gonna drag that on top of that layer as well. And now I can just tint, tint this to any color I want. I'm gonna press here on the white. And let's say, let me go for maybe purple, nice and funky. Yeah, something like that. Let me try that. much it for this video I hope that what wait I hope that was helpful if it was do leave me a comment below if you have any questions hit me up give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe you know just it helps the channel grow so you know think about it be about it and cue my music man what?